Welcome to race nine of the NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Let's Play. We arrived at the fastest super speedway on earth, Talladega Super Speedway in Talladega, Alabama, for the running of the Aaron's 499. Dale Earnhardt here holds on to a strong 250 point advantage on Kurt Busch, who is still desperate for a first win of the season. Kevin Harvick starts on the pole, the Texas winner. He and Matt Kins are fresh off with their wins at Texas and recently at Martinsville. Will Harvick win from the pole? Or will somebody else take the Aaron's 499? We'll find out and see. Green flag is out and we're on at Talladega. Jarrett with a great start. Bernard Jr. continues to move toward the front, even going by Jimmy Johnson in the 48. Bernard Jr. decides to take a provisional, start 43rd, gains six spots. Oh, look at him go. Passing cars one at a time. Dale Jarrett leads his first lap of the day and picks up five bonus points. Bernard Jr. goes by Mark Martin in the six, working on Jeff Green in the 43. Into the top 30 goes the number eight car. Oh, here comes Newman. Oh, Newman and Earnhardt Jr. made contact. Almost, Newman almost nearly took out Earnhardt Jr. and teammate Rusty Wallace. Earnhardt Jr. gets past Newman. Now Curtis is 23rd, but now it's about to take 22nd from Jeff Burton. Dale Jarrett continues to show the way. Another pass on Scott Riggs. And now Earnhardt Jr. gets into the top 20 with a pass on Sterling Marlin in the 40. Oh, had to get out of the throttle just a little bit as gone. Got a little bit tight off of two. Oh, look out. Oh, look out. Caution, flag is out. Oh, Jr. got part of it. Damage to the right front. Somebody checked up in front of me. Bernard Jr. hit Vickers, or excuse me, yep, he hit Gone up into Vickers. Bush. Sadler was involved. Green flag is back out. Dale Jarrett leads the way. Now, Earnhardt Jr. is going to get past Brandon Gaunt's Kodak, number 77 car. This is for 18th. With 12 laps to go in the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. Rod alone on the high side. Earnhardt Jr. will clear both Vickers and Rudd. He started way deep in 43rd position. There he is in 16th place, trying to catch the leaders. Vickers decides to go with him. Trying to catch Ward Burton in the net zero, number zero car. Robbie Gordon now has five bonus points in his hand as he leads that lap, 11 to go. Ward Burton for 15th. Now here he comes on Sadler. And now trying to get past Kurt Busch. Gets past Biffle. Craven cuts in front of Earnhardt Jr. 
or Tony Stewart got loose in front of him, causing Earnhardt Jr. to check up. Yellow flag is out again. Oh, look out. Caution's out again, and the cars are banging into each other. Oh, Jimmy Johnson on his side in turn four. Got loose off of four. Johnson goes for a slide on his side at Talladega. Nearly flipped. We're restarting with 10 laps to go. Green flag is back out and we're back underway with Dale Jarrett setting the pace once again. The biggest mover is point leader Dale and our junior started 43rd, currently in 11th. Oh, Craven. Oh, Earl Jr. decides to go with him. Biffle trying to pass Earnhardt Jr. for 11th. Jr. to the inside of Craven. This is for 10th, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. will go into the top 10 with nine laps to go as Michael Walter leads the Aaron's 499 at Talladega. Oh. Earnhardt Jr. to the inside of Stewart and Nemechek, and also the 177 car trying to catch Robbie Gordon and Martinsville winner Matt Kenseth trying to go with Food City 500 and Las Vegas winner Jeff Gordon. Dale Jr. started 43rd. Here he is in third place, making the move for the lead. Goes past Jeff Gordon for second. Harvick wants his second win of the season, but we're past the halfway point. It's still anybody's race. And look, we got a new leader, Dale Earnhardt Jr. From 43rd to the front in eight laps. Up being involved in two crashes, but just kept on going. Harvick has five bonus points, as does Robbie Gord, Dale Jarrett, and Michael Waltrip. And now Earnhardt Jr. wants his five bonus points. Gordon wants his third win of the season. Harvick wants his second. Earnhardt Jr. wants his third. But they have seven laps to go. Earnhardt Jr. will take five bonus points for leading that lap. Trying to make the pass. Junior blocks, leaving Harvick all alone on the inside lane. Will Gordon take advantage? I don't think so. Here we come to six laps to go. Here comes Matt Kenson coming into play. Oh, Harvick to the inside. Not quite there. That's going to give Gordon the lead. Oh. Or, excuse me, second place. Junior blocks. Six to go. Chevy's top three, followed by Kenseth's Ford in fourth. And Dale Jarrett's Ford in fifth place. Oh, look out. That could have been trouble right there. Something's got to give there. Earnhardt Jr. gets loose off of two. Realized Gordon's on his outside lane. Had to check up and give Gordon some room uh, and avoid wrecking each other. All three wide. Here comes Kinza to the inside of Harvick. He wants his shot at the front. Three wide for second. Five laps to go. Kenseth trying to go back to back. 
Harvick's all alone on the outside lane. Gordon's gonna go with him. Junior blocks both, Kenseth and Harvick. Oh, look out, there's contact. Kenseth in the wall. Now Junior has a 1.4 second advantage. But will they catch right back up as we come to get four laps to go? Bernard Jr. leads on cruise control. His recent win was the Golden Corral 500 in Atlanta, and he also won the Daytona 500. He wants his third win of the season, and he wants it now. Gordon trying to catch right back up. Gordon's gaining on him. He was 1.4 seconds back, and now 8 seconds back. Gordon trying to catch him. Kenseth and Earnhardt Jr. made contact in turn two, causing Kenseth to get out of shape, get loose in front of traffic, saved it, but causing other cars to get fall back to the leader. Gordon's catching up for the as we got three to go in the air in Sport 99 at Talladega. Gordon's there. Oh, Gordon caught him. Here's Harvick. He's trying to catch up as well. Harvick trying to catch up. Oh, there. Oh, Gordon. Oh, look out. Gordon has the top spot. Oh, there's the bump. Two to go. Gordon gets five bonus points. Can Gordon hang on for his third one of the season? Junior bumps Gordon out of the groove. Earnhardt Jr. has the lead, and Harvick now has second all to himself. He's six seconds back. But we're getting closer to the white flag, signifying the final lap of the event. Kevin Harvick looking for his second win of the season. Of the last three races. Harvick caught him. But can he get there? White flags in the air. One lap to go for Dale Earnhardt Jr. As Kevin Harvick has a run. Harvick to the inside for the lead. Harvick now has the top spot. Harvick trying to block. He does, but can he hang on? Here comes Earnhardt Jr. to the high side. With the run. Side drafting. Trying to go for it. Still side by side. Who's going to get there? Who's going to get there? Check your flag at the line. Harvick. Kevin Harvick wins the Aarons 499 at Talladega. Gordon, Stewart, Sadler, Kenza, Jared, Bipple, Bush, Marlin, the top 10. I want to see that photo finish. Bernard Jr. and Gordon were side by side with two to go. And Bernard Jr. shoves Gordon out of the groove right there, causing Harvick to make a move. Harvick holds off Junior 
by four one thousandths of a second. Newman 12. Johnson, after that near wild after that wild ride he had, held on for 13. Oh, tough break for Rusty Wallace in 33rd. There's always next race. Which will be Fontana. The Auto Club 500. Kevin Harvick wins the Aarons 499 at Talladega. That's his second win of the season. Which puts him 7th in the points. Gordon 8th, Sadler 9th, Kane 10th. Stewart 6th, Kenseth still 5th, Newman 4th, Johnson 3rd, Bush 2nd. Wallace drops to back to 13th. Great run for Sterling Marlin. He finished 10th. Sure 23rd in the points. We'll see you next time at the Auto Club 500 at California Speedway.